Game Stork, delivering news like a newborn baby. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jeff from Game Stork, and today we're having a special episode, a eShop extravaganza, right? I want to look at a few of the upcoming games. Even though there are only four listed, uh, I still want to talk a little bit about them. Uh, so let's start here today with Lego City Undercover, which is set for April the 4th, which is right around the corner. So this game uh, is coming out at $59.99. If you guys haven't seen the news, uh, there was a big flip out about um, the writing on the case saying that the physical copy of the game would require a 13 gigabyte download of data. Well, since then, um, the developers have come out and said, you know what, that was a mistake. And if you get the cartridge, you'll get the full game. Um, interestingly enough, though, uh, they never really clarified what the 13 gigs were because the required space listed here on the site, uh, on the eShop, is 7.1 gigs. So I'm curious as to what that 13 could be. Maybe uh, some type of texture update, content update, maybe... I don't know. Yeah. Lego City Undercover would be kind of neat. This was, uh, I did play this game in its entirety and it impressed me a lot. Like it was probably my favorite uh, Lego game outside of the original Lego Star Wars years ago. So, this is one of those games though that if you're looking for something uh, for your kids that's very family friendly and resembles Grand Theft Auto to a large degree, uh, this is it. And I'll just tell you, I had a blast with this game. And, you know, I, I have a lot of peace of mind knowing that I could, you know, obviously leave my kids playing this game and I don't have to worry about anything. There's a little innuendo here and there, but I don't think that it's anything that they would uh, catch on to. So I do highly recommend that game. Uh, am I going to repurchase it? Uh, it? That's very difficult to say because I did play this game a lot when it came out. And it just, I suppose it all depends. Now the next game we're going to talk about here is set for April the 6th, which is Grateful Explosion Machine. And this is going to be $12.99. Um, and, oh man, this game, it looks so great. I know there's a video here, so let's find the video for you real quick. I'm moving like a snail. <laughs> Alright, there it is, yeah. So, this game is very, it seems very fast-paced, loud, colorful. I love the sound effects, and it's one that I am certain I'm going to pick up. I would love um, to get to play this game early for a review, because um, it, it just looks really fun to me. So uh, this is one I think maybe you should play. I, I love that the Switch is quickly becoming like the go-to for indies, and I think about you know purchasing Snake Pass on there. And the fact is, over the other systems, like Nintendo has the advantage because, hey, I mean, if you get the exact same indie game, except you can take it with you, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to argue that. It's kind of like with the big third-party developers when Sony and uh, Microsoft are going to be battling for their support at E3 this year. Uh, yes, you know. Xbox is going to say, yes, we got the Scorpio, we have all this power, and we have this, but then the PlayStation, you know, Sony, they're just going to say, look, we have a 50 plus million install base, so who do you want to market to, you know, so they have the advantage there, but as far as portability and getting the same experience on the go, uh, Switch is extremely um, in the lead, I suppose, for indies, in my opinion, they just need the install base, and I think that that's quickly coming, so anyway, this game looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm very, very excited about this game. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it is one player. So uh, I love couch co-op, and it gives me an opportunity to sit and play and spend time with people. Um, so maybe in the future they can include a two-player mode. All right, so somehow I have done... There we go. All right. So Puyo Puyo Tetris is the next one coming out April the 25th. This is very simple. Um, if you haven't already, create a Japanese account and you can download the demo for this in Japanese. Now, if you can't read Japanese, you'll figure it out. It's pretty easy to get through the menus. But it is a pretty fun game. Uh, lastly, man, Mario Kart 
oh wow you know okay so a lot of people in the beginning were like okay Mario Kart um yeah I don't know if I want to repurchase it I don't know if, if I want to rebuy it I, look a full Mario Kart 8 deluxe experience all the DLC all the care all the stuff coming in April okay and you can take it with you on the go online competitive multiplayer all the good stuff yes okay I can tell you that I'm gonna purchase this because I want Mario Kart on my switch as a matter of fact I will be purchasing the digital version uh, so that it will always be on my switch to play uh, this is something I can see um, just being out and pulling off the joy cons and sharing very quickly I think that this game is going to show the functionality and um, really the system's capability to be a multiplayer system all the time like two controllers right out of the box right out, you know so um, no other system really captures that now just looking real quick um, I did pick up snake pass yesterday and if you haven't looked at my let's play um, I will have a link below it's really funny I encourage you to go watch it uh, now there's another game that came out yesterday that has been heroes and I to be honest with you I have not played this but I'm not sold on it yet uh, this game to me just seems somewhat cumbersome I guess is a correct word uh, this is a one-player game uh, that's a somewhat of a strategy RPG I suppose what it looks like where uh, you're running in the straight line and you have to defeat enemies going in the same straight line constantly so uh, to be honest with you I'm not 100% sure about playing this so I think if it drops maybe 10 bucks um, I may do that and jump on board but this is the preview to it off the eShop so You guys had to excuse me. All that sniffling and I've been really sick, but it hasn't deterred me from making these videos. Okay, so here we go. That's what the gameplay looks like. And to me, it's not that it looks bad. It looks fun. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem like a ton of variety. Like it looks to me like a kind of like a cell phone game, to where you just jump in for a sec and then it'd be over with. But the concept's really cool, so I could be completely wrong, and I I can't judge this before I play it. So, I love the art though. I've got these two balls, and they're all yours. Okay, and there you go. So anyway, yeah, that's our little special eShop extravaganza here today for Newsfeed, uh, I almost said Chapter 5, Episode 5. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I might find some stuff to show off tomorrow in the PSN or just continue with the news. There's a lot of good news out there. Uh, but for some reason, I wanted to talk about these games in the eShop. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your time here with me and I certainly appreciate you watching. Thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe below, all that good stuff. And hey, if you have some, uh, maybe if you picked up Has Been Heroes and you'd like to tell me how great it is or uh, maybe how bad it is, comment below. If you like Snake Pass, comment below. And if you're excited about any of the other games you looked at or curious or any questions, be sure to comment below after you like and subscribe. So again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Newsfeed. Double digit thousand.